Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a free Bybit grid bot. And by the end of the video, I will show you how to deploy that grid bot. Now, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot operates, it's extremely simple. You have an upper limit and a lower limit, and the grid is made up of open orders in between the upper and lower limit. And so when the price of your asset drops, the bot buys low, and when the price goes up, the bot sells high for profit. Buy low, sell high, basically in between a range. And so what you're looking for is price action that is range bound and perhaps slightly trending up. But we'll get into more details of that in a moment. That's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to deploying one of these grid bots over on Bybit. So the first thing you obviously need to do is have a Bybit account. And if you do not have a Bybit account, you can join Bybit by clicking on the link in the description down below. And if you use my promo code, when you deploy your first grid bot over here on Bybit, you will receive free $10 worth of USDT that you can actually withdraw. So with that being said, after you've joined Bybit and you log into your account, you will obviously need to send some funds over to your spot account. And you can do that by clicking on deposit, selecting the coin you want to actually send. And in this case, I suggest USDT as that is the token that will be used to deploy these grid bots. Next, you select what blockchain you want to send it on and i would recommend probably either bsc which is binance or trc which is tron they're probably some of the lower fees definitely would probably avoid erc20 that is eth and you're going to pay a huge fee to send any funds via eth so if you select say trc20 by selecting that chain you want to make sure your wallet is also sending funds on the TRC20 chain. If not, then you could lose your funds. You wanna make sure that you receive and send on the same blockchain. Now that you have your USDT wallet, you just wanna confirm that the deposits are going to your spot account because that is the account that the grid bot will be deployed from. And so once I confirm all this information, I can click on copy for the wallet address paste it into the wallet I'm sending from and send those funds over here to Bybit, which you should then receive over here in your spot account. And as you can see, I have 375 USDT. So I am ready to deploy one of these grid bots. And so I just come up here to the menu bar across the top, scroll over to trade and then scroll down to trading bot and give that a click. And that will bring me over to the Bybit Gridbots page. And from there, I can just click on Create More or Create Gridbot. And then that will bring you over here to the configuration page for a Gridbot. And the first thing you need to select is what pair are you going to trade? And you have a list of pairs that are available currently to be traded via Gridbots. In this case, today I'm selecting BTC USDT. Now, a tip on how to select a profitable pair. Well, for starters, I would do some technical analysis over on a chart. And in this case, if we jump over to trading view, I would look at how that token is actually trading. And what I'm looking for again is that price action trading within a zone, an upper and lower limit. I want some sideways, essentially price action. As you can see, Bitcoin on the 30 minute chart is trading in a sideways range and you can see when the price runs up the bot would be selling high for profit and then when the price moves down it would be buying low to again sell high on each rip up so you want to see this basically sideways moving price action so you're buying low and selling high for profit now the other factor to consider for me which is probably the actual number one factor I look for is volatility. And I use my ATR volatility indicator over here on TradingView. And that volatility is measured by these bars. The green bars are high volatility. The yellow bars are moderate. The blue bars are considered somewhat low. And then obviously the red bars would be very low volatility. And as you can see right now, Bitcoin's volatility has picked up. Now it's important to note volatility measures volatility volatility 
not trend. So it doesn't tell you if the price is going up or down. It just tells you that the price is being very volatile. It could be going up or down, which basically indicates this type of price action here. When the price basically consolidates sideways and you don't have really a dump down or up, you can see in this area here that you have very low volatility. But overall, right now, obviously Bitcoin has some pretty good volatility. So if we jump back over here to Bybit, I have my pair selected. The next thing I need to do is set up my price range, my lower and upper price. Now I can click on auto fill and Bybit has AI that has already determined the ideal price ranges. Basically, this would be based on previous trading history. Now, previous trading history doesn't guarantee future history. So I will actually be selecting my own price range. And in this case, I'm going to jump back over to trading view and a chart, in this case, a four hour chart. And I'm looking at previous resistance for my upper limit and previous support for my lower limit. And I want the price to be kind of trading somewhere in the middle, if not down towards the lower end, when I am typically getting ready to set up a grid bot. And so somewhere between 17.5 would be my low. I would probably give it some room towards the downside, say 17,000. And then we see resistance up here around 23,000. I would more than likely give it some room towards the top side, probably 24,000, maybe 25,000. So jumping back over to here to buy bit, the lower limit I will set will be 17,000. The upper price limit, let's call it 24,000. Now the number of grids given my price range needs to be somewhere between two to 58. I am going to shoot for let's say 30 which would give me an interval between each grid of basically $233. So in between each grid will be 233 USDT. And that would give me a profit per grid of 0.98% to 0.137%. Something you do need to consider in this percentage is your trading fees. Now you will pay on the high end 0.08% per trade. So that would equal 0.08 when you buy and 0.08 when you sell. So a total completed trade for a grid bot would be 0.16%. You want to make sure you have that covered on your profit side of the transaction. And in this case, you can see I clearly have that covered. 0.16% would leave me with 0.8%. 2% profit. So I'd be good as far as that goes. Now the last thing I need to determine is how much ammo I want to give this bot to go to battle with. And you can see the minimum I need to give this bot based on the parameters I have set would be 369 USDT. In this case, I will give it 370 USDT. And so now all that is left to do is click create now. That will give me a confirmation that my total investment will be 370 USDT. The pair is BTC USDT. My price range is that 17,000 to 24,000. The number of grids is 30. The interval in between each grid will be 233 USDT. And then my profit per grid will be somewhere between 1% and 1.37%. Now, it's important to note that in order to deploy this bot, I need to have some BTC in case the price action moves up immediately after deployment. I need to have some Bitcoin for the bot to sell for profit. And so when I deploy this bot, it will buy 0.0007794 BTC in order to fill those orders towards the top side. And so everything looks good. So now I just click create now. The bot was created successfully. And now you can see the grid bot is live and active. I can click on details for more information about this bot. However, it is new, so there's not a whole lot of intel to be gained here. I can click on positions and see my Bitcoin position. It did go out and buy some Bitcoin for the sell side of the book. As you can see, I have 12 sell orders over here for when the price goes up. However, I still hold some USDT, around 205 USDT, to fill the buy orders, which I have 18 buy orders. Now, when you're ready to terminate or stop your bot, you just click on terminate. 
And that will give you an option of basically what asset you want to end up holding when you close the bot. If you choose USDT, it will basically sell all the BTC that you have on hand back into USDT. And so this would return everything back to your original currency. Now you could select to choose to close the bot and hold on to the BTC that it has bought and hold on to whatever USDT you currently have. Or you could close the bot and buy BTC with your remaining USDT. And then the last option would be to convert everything to buy bits token, the bit token. Now, typically when I close a bot, I return everything back to my quote currency and that would be USDT. And then you could click confirm. Now, obviously I'm not gonna do that since we just deployed this bot. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will do an update video on how this bot is actually performing in the near future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bybit along with my promo code in the description down below. And if you use my link and promo code to sign up with Bybit, when you deploy your first grid bot, you will receive ten dollars worth of usdt for free so with that all being said remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video